If a human makes it to 80 years, that's considered plenty old. But many long-lasting species see 80 years as mere infancy. Let's take a look at some of the oldest living creatures on the planet. What better way to kick off a list of incredibly old creatures with a species that might literally be immortal? The Teratopsis dornii, unofficially known as the immortal jellyfish, is without question the most unique creature on the planet. That's because as far as we know, it's the only one who can survive indefinitely, if not forever. It does this by following the advice many of us get as we grow older. They embrace their inner child, but they take it to the logical extreme. After reproduction, the jellyfish's body begins to shut down. Rather than let death take its natural course, the jellyfish will actually revert back to its immature polyp stage, growing back into a mature jellyfish over time so as to reproduce once again. Here's the kicker, they can do this as often as they like, and they remain the same jellyfish every time. By growing down, then up, then down, then up again, over and over, the jellyfish effectively lives forever. As far as we can tell, the only way an immortal jellyfish dies is via accident, disease, or predator. Basically, if something happens to impede their self-contained circle of life, then death ceases to take a holiday. But if the jellyfish stays healthy and doesn't find itself anybody's dinner, it could theoretically outlive both our species and whatever dominant species comes after us. Or maybe they will become the dominant species. Why not? They've got enough time on their hands, or rather, time on their tentacles. Prehistoric worms must have been made of far hardier stuff than the worms of today. How else to explain a couple of worms who, after 42,000 years of frozen stasis, sprung back to life like it was their plan all along? It happened in July 2018. A group of Russian scientists teamed up with Princeton University to analyze some 300 nematode roundworms that had been buried in Siberian permafrost since the Stone Age. The scientists thawed the worms out, expecting little to happen beyond, well, science. Instead, they got a borderline miracle. Two of the worms, after being thawed out, began to move. What's more, they started eating. They were well and truly alive after all these millennia. The worms, both female, quickly got carbon dated to ensure these weren't regular worms who had fallen in the snow a week ago. Sure enough, one worm, whom we'll call Elsa, is around 32,000 years old, while the other, whom we'll call Anna, is just under 42,000 years old. That makes them by far the oldest living multicellular creatures on Earth. Roundworms typically only live around four months, so it's not likely Elsa and Anna are still with us. Unless, of course, the scientists were forward-thinking enough to refreeze them so they could be rethawed and reanalyzed 50,000 years from now. Can a sponge live forever? Probably not, unless it's SpongeBob, who will live forever in our hearts. But one particular glass sponge might as well have lived forever, since it lasted a whole lot longer than we ever will. In 2012, the aptly named Aging Research Reviews Journal discussed a member of the sponge species Monorapsis chunai that had been recently discovered. A quick bit of carbon dating revealed that the sponge lived to be an astronomical 11,000 years old. While Anna and Elsa the roundworms clocked in at 42,000 years old, much of that time was spent frozen. But this sponge sponge survived and thrived non-stop for 11 millennia. Even for a deep-sea creature with few actual predators, this is an unreal lifespan. It's hard to say for sure how the one particular sponge lasted for so long. It has the same features and defensive mechanisms as any other Monorapsis chunai, though it may be larger than most. It's possible that size may be why it lasted longer than Rita Repulsa was trapped in the moon, as size typically dictates sponge longevity. A tiny sponge may only survive a few years, but sponges wider than one meter could live for several thousand years. This sturdy, not little guy was at least that wide, with spiky 10-foot spicules to boot. So that's as good an explanation as any as to how this specimen got to 11,000 years of fine ocean living before leaving us for that big sponge rack in the sky. Corals aren't the most exciting creatures on the planet, given that they just hang around one part of the ocean floor their whole lives. But it's still incredible to know that at least one particular bit of coral has hung around since the old kingdom of ancient Egypt. In 2009, a team of scientists from Texas A&M changed their mind on a Leopathy's coral they've been studying off the coast of Hawaii. Since their research began in 2002, they were convinced that the coral was only a few hundred years old. As it turns out, that was not the case. Rather, the coral was a few thousand years old, which is like thinking a girl is in preschool when she's actually someone's 90-year-old grandmother. Its age becomes even cooler when you consider what the Leopathies looked like, a black skeleton with orange tissue. In short, it's an ancient Halloween creature, and that is beyond awesome. What's not awesome is that this 4,200-year-old creature is under threat, and we're the threat. 
Fishermen cast nets that damage the corals, and poachers keep lobbing off pieces of the coral for jewelry. Hopefully we can stop endangering these ageless wonders soon and leave them alone so they can continue to be ageless. Provided you don't look and feel older every year, it would probably be cool to live to 500. Unless, of course, you don't achieve sexual maturity for about 150 of those years. That's probably less fun. That is, however, the life of a Greenland shark, probably the longest living species of shark around. Because they only grow around one centimeter a year, they don't start to age for a long, long time. The typical Greenland shark can live around 400 years, and there are some decidedly non-typical sharks out there. One shark in particular, at a whopping five meters long, or 16 and a half feet long, is likely the oldest Greenland shark ever, and perhaps the longest living shark in history. A 2016 study published in Science Magazine tagged this shark at being 392 years old, with a plus-minus margin of 120 years. That means this shark could potentially be nearly 520 years old, with no signs of slowing down. But as we mentioned earlier, this longevity comes at a price. Female Greenland sharks can't reproduce until they're almost 160 years old. So until then, they're just swimming around and eating, waiting for the time they grow old enough to make babies. So how did we figure out how old these sharks are? Through the powers of nuclear radiation. Basically, they discovered several dead sharks contained high amounts of carbon-14 due to radiation from 1950s nuclear bomb testing seeping into the water. The amount of carbon in the corpses, combined with their body lengths, told the scientists these sharks were born in the 1960s. They used that basic formula, carbon-14 amounts plus body length, to determine the approximate ages of many more Greenland sharks, including the one that's possibly 520 years old. Not too many good things come from nukes, but learning about these sharks is certainly one of them. Yes, a clam lived to be over 500 years old. It probably wouldn't have been tasty to eat. In Iceland in 2006, an ocean quahog clam was dredged up by some fishermen, and it quickly became apparent the clam had a ton of history behind it. Researchers got to counting the lines on the shell and determined the clam was 405 years old. Shortly thereafter, a better count of the lines revealed the truth. This clam made it to 507 years old. As befitting something so old, the media dubbed the clam Ming, after the ancient Ming dynasty that was an active thing when this clam was born. Others tend to call it Hafrun, which is Icelandic for the mystery of the ocean. True to the name, nobody knows how the clam lived for so long. It's not like it could exercise in that shell or anything. Adding to the mystery is that nearly 15 years later, we still don't know if Ming slash Hafrun was a male or female. Due to its age, nothing about its reproductive organs could be determined, aside from how they no longer worked. And so, said organs are officially classified as spent, which you might recognize as the last thing you want anyone to call your reproductive organs. Giant tortoises rarely have troubles living a long time. Many of them make it to 100 to 120 years old, so long as they're not eaten by a bird or snake when they're babies about the size of a tennis ball. This makes Adwaita's story all the more amazing. This Aldabra giant tortoise was born around 1750 and didn't die until 2006. At 255 years old, he was the single oldest land creature in the world, and quite possibly the longest living land creature of all time. Amazingly, Adwaita's story doesn't include much of anything that would point to why he lived for so long. He was by all measures a typical tortoise, who ate typical tortoise food and lived a typical tortoise life. For some reason, however, he managed to hang on longer than any other tortoise ever. Truth be told, he might still be alive today if not for one incident. In 2005, his shell suffered a crack and a wound developed. That wound quickly became infected, and a year later, Adwaita was dead. Carbon dating of his shell confirmed that he was indeed 255 years old, though we're still no closer to figuring out how he managed it. Most fish tend to not live long, as anyone who's had to flush a two-week-old goldfish down the toilet can testify. Some fish last longer. Japanese koi fish, for example, can live up to 40 years. Then there's Hanako, a koi who held on for far longer than she had any right to. By the time she died, she was an unbelievable 226 years old. Some fishies just love swimming so much, they never want to stop. Hanako was born around 1751, meaning she predated the United States by several decades. She, well, floated from owner to owner before landing in the pond of a man named Dr. Kame Koshihara. According to the good doctor, his grandmother's mother-in-law had told her, that carp has been handed down to us from olden times. You must take good care of it. When he learned of that, he became intrigued as to just how old Hanako was. In 1966, he hired an expert to analyze two of Hanako's scales, as one might observe the rings on a tree trunk. 
To his utter shock, the analysis concluded that Hanako was 215 years old, more than twice the age of the oldest koi anyone had ever heard of. Hanako lived another decade before finally dying on July 7, 1977. As for how this could happen, Dr. Koshihara also had his other koi fish analyzed, discovering each one was aged between 139 and 168 years old. His theory became that a combination of pure water, isolation, peace, and straight-up good fish genes contributed to their long lives. All his fish thrived hard. Monaco simply thrived the hardest. Depending on the whale, average lifespans may vary. Blue whales can live around 80 years, while killer whales may only make it to 30. Then you have the bowhead whale, which is almost certainly the oldest living whale in the world, and might be the oldest mammal, period. We only learned about this by accident. In 2007, fishermen caught a bowhead with a harpoon stuck in its head. What's more, that particular brand of harpoon was only produced between 1879 and 1885. Curious, researchers examined the specimen further, determining that it was about 130 years old at the time of death. That alone would make this whale one of the oldest mammals ever, but researchers were curious about the species as a whole. They examined multiple other bowhead whale specimens, and found most were between 135 and 170 years old when they died, but one outlier made it to 211 years of age. Since it died in the 1990s, that means it was born around the time Washington was president. Never mind reptiles and fish. For a mammal to last that long is practically unheard of. Experts believe bowheads live so long because they live exclusively in cold northern water and don't have a lot of food to eat. So they evolved to keep thick and warm layers of fat storing blubber on them at all times. Fat plus the cold waters essentially forcing the whales to grow slowly and not exert much energy equals an incredibly long life. So the next time someone preaches about how great cold showers are, they're not being obnoxious. They're simply trying to help you live forever. The tuatara is a rare species of New Zealand lizard that typically lives to around 60 years of age. That is, except for one sturdy tuatara, who is setting new standards both for the age of his species and for its virality. A tuatara named Henry has somehow doubled his life expectancy, still kicking it at age 120. That he has lived so long is extra amazing considering he had cancer. Yes, in 2008 his handlers discovered a malignant tumor around his genitals. After they removed it, Henry was so happy he decided to have children. At age 111, Henry was never the fathering kind, and not just due to his age. See, up until 2008, Henry had been aggressive and angry. He even bit off the tail of a female named Mildred whom his keepers wanted him to mate with. But with the cancer gone, Henry was a whole new lizard, and he and Mildred made up and made 11 babies. Henry is still alive, still healthy, and judging by how he currently lives with at least three Lady Tuataras, still Randy. He's our hero. 